Bahu and Buddhi. You wouldn't get anything to eat if you didn't have me. I use my strength to hunt and gather. Without my smart thinking, you wouldn't know how to cook the food and make it safe for eating. Without strength, your body will become weak and ill. Without mind, you wouldn't know how to make an ill body well again. As the brothers quarreled with each other, nature came up with a plan to teach the twins a valuable lesson. Today is the day you will finally find out the answer to your question. I have decided to create something new. I will call it a human being. What's a human being? This human being is an animal that will be able to do things other animals cannot. But there's one problem. It needs a friend, someone who can look after it. It cannot do anything without the help of a friend. Do you want us to be friends and companions? Yes, Buddhi. That's exactly what I want. But you have to prove your merit first. Eager to prove themselves to be better than the other, Buddhi and Bahu agreed to take part in a tournament. They called this tournament Humanity's Friend and chose nature as the judge of the events. The rules were laid down. There were to be three simple tasks. The brother to complete all three or two out of three would win the prize. The winner would get a chance to be the first friend to the human race. I will create human beings in such a way that they will be able to do impossible things. In order to be their friend, you will also need to be able to do impossible things. That's why I want you to bring the moon down on the ground. If you do it, you will win the first round. Now, Bahu was a creature of great strength. He went to the forest and cut down the trees for wood. He used this wood to make a ladder tall enough to reach the moon. But that was the easy part. How will I bring down the moon? It is so large. Try as he might, Bahu could not get the moon to move an inch from the inky night sky. As for Buddhi, he waited till his brother climbed down the ladder, tired and empty-handed. When it was his turn, he simply filled a bowl with water and placed it on the ground, under the starry night sky. And there it was. The moon reflected on the surface of the still water in the bowl. The challenge was to bring the moon down on the ground. I have done just that and I didn't have to break a sweat. I win. I agree. This round goes to Buddhi. Time for the second task. The human beings I will create will climb every mountain. They will need someone to guide them when they do. Which of you is good enough to be that friend? While Buddhi was good at solving problems with his mind, when it came to physical exercise, he wasn't always very successful. He tried to climb the mountain closest to their home, but it was too bumpy and had many holes and cracks along the steep slope. The task was so difficult that Buddhi couldn't even think properly. And so, he couldn't find a way out of the mess. This is easy. I do this all the time. He hopped and skipped and jogged along the steep slope. He was steady and full of confidence. Soon enough, Bahu reached the peak of the mountain and won the second round. 
both of you have won one round each. The brother to win the next round wins the tournament. For your third task, you have to do something that you have never done before. I want you to work with each other so that both of you can help human beings grow. Once they are born, I want you to be humanity's friends. Bahu will teach them how to act while Buddhi will guide their thought. So saying, nature vanished and became a part of all things great and small. That happened many years ago. You couldn't count them if you tried. Buddhi and Bahu are busy doing the third task even now. You won't see them with your eyes. They hide themselves very carefully. Unnoticed by humans, the brothers are shaping our actions and our thoughts every day. You need both of them if you want to climb every mountain and do impossible things. Moral Brain and brawn go hand in hand.